What's going on fam? It's your boy. And today we're going to do a DNF dual tier list. I am currently gold one with a 51% win rate. So I am not the best player in the game. However, I have had most matchups to where I feel like my opinion is now uh, relevant to competitive ranked gameplay. So th th this tier list is going to be my experience and my opinion um, on what classes are the best for competitive gameplay. All right, you guys. Um, so let's go ahead and hop into it. All right. So Berserker, guaranteed A tier. Berserker has a lot, a lot of pressure, um, a lot of very safe moves, very fast animations to where if you don't know the Berserker's combo string, it's very hard to find an opening if they know how to do mix-ups, okay? However, Berserker does take a considerable amount more damage um, when they use their Berserk. Uh, they do have a damage boost however the berserk stance um it, it's a trade-off right and it's been the same way since dfo um so because of that it kind of makes berserker high risk high reward uh but at the same point there's almost absolute no way to be a hundred percent safe at all times therefore you're gonna get hit um you know, you're gonna get hit in that stance sooner or later, and it's very punishing when you do. That being said, you know, Berserker at a high level, I could potentially see as the game moves forward, maybe being moved up to S tier, but as of right now, I'm gonna leave it at A tier. Grappler, uh, this class is very good in its, uh, like, in its own right. However, it has a lot of bad matchups. Um, it's it's normal string combos chaining into its uh special skills combos are very good and you can get grabs off on anyone who's close range to you however getting to an opponent is the hard part on grappler and because of that uh i've seen grapplers just get zoned i've zoned grapplers um you know there's the really good ones that could potentially play it at an s tier but most people are playing it at a very 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 low skill level so I'm gonna put Grappler at C tier. Inquisitor, I love this class. The combo strings are infinite and they are totally safe. Once a good Inquisitor catches you in an aerial combo, they can drag you to the corner and then they'll finish the combo um, with their, their, their flame wheel, which will actually extend their combo even longer. They can pretty much take you to 80%, like take down 80% of your health without you even having a chance to respond if they know how to combo properly and it's very very easy to combo on an inquisitor i'm gonna put it in an a tier striker automatic s tier this class is freaking amazing even the bad players i have trouble fighting against and then the good strikers like they will i will still get 100 zero by a really really good striker maybe i'll get it in a few hits if he's like actually extremely good like i fought i fought a couple korean strikers in, in like high silver and gold and it's it's pretty insane what that class can do man ranger this class has a bit more durability than launcher um it has extremely long range bullets and it has very 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 easy combos man the rangers combos are so easy but they're also somewhat predictable because of that. It's not a very complex class, but because it's so easy, like beginner friendly, so easy combo, I highly recommend this for people who are trying to learn the game or people who just like zoners. People who like, uh, like he's, he, he's partial zoner, partial combo master, but his combos are so simple, man. That's, it's, it's like playing Devil May Cry, dude. It's just instant A tier. Hitman. Um, Hitman's a B tier class. Like, if you're not 
am absolutely amazing at spacing and you don't like if you don't necessarily know like almost all of hitman's combo and combo conversions the chances of you out dpsing a lot of classes in this game with hitman's kit is unlikely don't get me wrong there are a lot of good hitmans and for mid range they are very good but it is very very easy to zone a bad hitman it is very easy to punish a hitman that does not properly know his spacing and that's the only reason i'm giving it a b otherwise it'd be closer to a um tr its counterpart troubleshooter i'm gonna put an s s tier uh because unlike hitman troubleshooter doesn't have to worry so much about spacing troubleshooter has a lot more zone abilities with their nades and all of their explosive explosive attacks um and f from my standpoint it seems like troubleshooter um has a bit more survivability because of that zone so that's why i'm putting it a whole two tiers above its counterpart hitman um ghost blade counterpart for berserker uh another a tier class that might get a little bit of controversy some people say this class is s tier it's stupid broken i see the uh the weakness of ghost blade and the strong like the strong points the weakness of ghost blade is it's and the lack of anti-aerial it does have anti-aerial it's just not very good um it's long range anti-aerial it's better than it's close range anti-aerial unless you're camping your opponent um with your aerial mp skill your upwards mp skill um however ghost blade it does have very very good combo strings and its combo strings are somewhat like berserker where if you don't know his combo strings ghost blade has almost like infinite mana if they're landing hits even if you're blocking if they're landing hits and they're landing combos there are a lot of combo strings where you can do almost infinite mix-ups adding in special skills and mp skills which allows you to almost like it looks like spam, but you're really just combo chaining and it's so hard to predict. It makes the class amazing. It's just, it's a lack of anti-air. It gets super countered by strikers. It gets countered by even C tier grapplers. It gets countered by anyone that has too much pressure where Ghostblade can't get time to think or can't like, it, it's, it can't jump out of that position. Like it, you put Ghostblade in a really bad position and it just gets zoned, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Dragon Knight, D tier. This class is terrible. Like, I see the potential of this class. I see the potential. I see what could be done, but the current level that like almost everyone is playing Dragon Knight at is very, very, very bad. Uh, Dragon Knight has a lot of potential for mix-ups, but its combos are not easy. It's gonna take a lot of repetition, a lot of effort. A lot of game knowledge to really utilize Dragonite at its highest potential. Um, like I said, it is a great class. However, at the current state of the game, I have not seen very many people playing this class properly. So I'm putting it on D tier, like mostly due to player skill and just the high skill requirement to be decent on Dragonite. Not good. It's a high skill requirement to be decent. And then to be good, like, you have to be godlike on this class. It does okay damage. It has okay zone, but it, it's not the best at anything. So if you're not really in tune with this class, you're just not going to do well. Same thing with Vanguard. However, I'm going to put Vanguard on a C tier. Um, Vanguard is one of those classes where its combos do not make sense unless you put in a lot of time and effort and go through all the combo trials for this class. Vanguard does not, like, you cannot hop off another class and go to Vanguard. So it's not a good secondary class. And as far as a primary class, it has too many bad matchups, too many fast paced matchups to where I would personally feel safe on this class. However, I have seen someone who has mastered Vanguard, well, maybe not mastered, but someone who is good at Vanguard. It's not a very popular class, but the few people that I have seen that play this class are fucking phenomenal. They're like absolutely godlike. You know what I mean? Like, 
can barely even touch them, dude. All right, so let's zoom in a little bit. All right, so we currently have uh, Troubleshooter Striker, S tier Berserker. All right, so we need to put this launcher somewhere. Um, launcher is going in B tier, and that is because it's so squishy. It's also because its combos are so predictable because it's a zoner. The longer this game goes on, the easier it's kind of become to fight launchers. Launchers do have a easy entry level curve. It, you can be decent entry level as a launcher, but I feel as though, like I said, the longer this game goes on, the easier it will become to fight launchers. They are very predictable and they are becoming more and more predictable every day I play this game. Um, and the ones that do play are typically very spam heavy and they're like just it, the second you catch them in a combo you can't even combo string them properly because their class is so squishy they just disintegrate the second you hold them like a fucking uh, wet cookie dude so b tier it is kuno ichi s tier um if you just go back and watch some of my vods or if you would just watch like anyone's vods who's a good kunoichi the corner mix up potential of kunoichi allows even bad players to take off on people and just get easy wins every now and then don't get me wrong kunoichi is somewhat squishy so it does have some bad matchups going against someone who can zone you like a ranger or a launcher is kind of bad on kuno if you don't know your positioning very well, but Kuno Ichi is like, like at its base form. Like if you can land consistent combos, it doesn't matter how bad your matchup is because your corner mix up saves you no matter what. Your corner mix up, the only time it's a problem for you to be spamming corner mix up combos and combo screens is when your opponent has a reverse. So like Crusader, Grappler, um, and then sometimes like if you have like grabs like a launcher or like you don't really have to worry about a launcher because they're so squishy but grappler um, and crusader are kind of hard matchups for kuno but that's really it to be honest like you can pretty much fight every other class at like a balanced level and it's really just up to player skill level on kuno man I absolutely love this class enchantress is going on B tier um, I feel like most people would put this class on C tier. However, I put it on B tier because of the class has an amazing zone. It has great combos. However, it lacks combo mix up. Its combos become slightly repetitive, especially its more entry level combos. So because of that, I'm putting it chances at a low level. Its damage is great. Don't get me wrong, but its combo mix up makes it easy to predict somewhat like ranger right whereas it's pretty decent now but the longer the game goes on the easier it's going to be to fight classes like this man um lost warrior man another a tier class i'm not going to put it s tier and it's only because of lost warrior's hitbox he's fucking humongous he's just as big as crusader however Crusader does like double the damage of Lost Warrior. Lost Warrior does have some combos, does have some, some pretty decent damage dealing combos. However, its damage in comparison to the same, like similar hitbox of Crusader is, uh, it's, it fails in comparison. That being said, Crusader is obviously S tier. Um, Crusader is very durable has extreme amounts of armor and health. It even has a shield, which, and it also has a counter. It has a shield and a counter. The only class with like two defensive fucking abilities, man, um, outside of Grappler. So Crusader also has cross screen combos. It also has mid range and close range combos. Um, the cross screen, screen combos are a little difficult. Uh, you have to be, you have to be at least a couple steps in. You can't be literally half like like uh, you gotta be like half court. But Crusaders combo potential is absolutely freaking amazing. I grinded all the way from silver to gold with Crusader. 
uh, just off practicing like for a couple hours. Like obviously I played the class when the game first launched, but I didn't put in as many hours in the Seder as I did Ghost Blade. But the second I switched over to Seder, it was like like a light switched, man. And the game the game changes. It, the Crusaders has the best punish ability in this game, dude. It's 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 amazing. I love the class, and it has very few bad matchups because of its durability. Um, and then a Swift Master. Where do you guys think this belongs? It it's definitely going S tier, man. Definitely going S tier. And that is not how most people are playing Swift Master. Most people are not playing Swift Master at a high level. Um, but when people get good on this class, I'm gonna be absolutely afraid to even log into the game, dude, because the combo mix up of Swift Master is insane. Swift Master versus Kuno, Swift Master's combos are much more insane and harder to predict. They both have some of the best corner mix ups in the game, but Swift Master, it's just absolutely. <laughs> it's, like, it, it's devastating. If you haven't seen it, please go watch it, man. Swift Master, just, it's, it's nutty. It's nuts, man. <clears throat> so, this is my tier list. Now, take this with a grain of salt. This is based upon competitive play. The only classes that I would not touch personally that I, I'm not even thinking about playing, I'm not even thinking about picking up, that I'm not even thinking about taking in a rank are the classes that are B and below. I would pretty much play anything that's A or S um, in competitive play, but these classes that are B and below, they just have too many bad matchups. That being said, I am happy that there are fewer classes in this game that like from my standpoint just don't truly stand um a competitive chance unless you are a very 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 good player don't get me wrong there's going to be people on these classes that don't like what i'm saying but you are a very good player these classes have a lot of cons that make them harder to play for newer players like me okay um I am not the most experienced fighting game player. I've been playing Mortal Kombat, Tech, and Soul Calibur since I was a kid, but they've never been my main game. I've always been an RPG player. So coming over to this game, this is where I see my potential being. Like I said, I'm going to fuck with Crusader, I'm going to fuck with Kuno, and I'm definitely going to fuck with Ghostblade. I might end up picking up, picking up Troubleshooter eventually, but that is my tier list, you guys. Please let me know what you think. Thank you for watching the video. Peace and love.